Hi everybody, I'm Council Member David Grosso. I'm sending you this video today to give you an update on the work that we're doing down here at the Wilson Building on your behalf. As a chair of the Committee on Education, I'm very proud of the budget that we passed last week on behalf of all the schools and all of the children in school in the District of Columbia. There are a few programs that I wanted to highlight specifically for you. First, I made an investment in early childhood literacy programs. These investments are going to make sure that every child, regardless of what part of the city you're in, will have the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one tutoring to make sure that you are at level when it comes to reading and writing by the third grade. It's shown that this is extremely important and there's been studies across the country that have showed that if we invest in these efforts, it'll pay off in huge dividends down the road. The second area that I was able to invest in in the committee, which is important for me and for the entire city, is an expansion of the community schools program. This program goes into the schools, invests in the students' needs, but also supports the teachers and administrators and everyone in the community with all of the wraparound services that are so important to put every child in the best position to learn. Finally, I worked really hard with my staff on creating a new way to allocate money in the capital improvement plan. So which facilities get renovated when is something that historically has been a purely political approach. My objective approach, taking into account many factors, is going to change that and change it abruptly as we move forward to make equity and fairness the paramount point of view as we move forward with this school reform effort. In that regard, I've decided that I'm going to hold town halls across the city over the next month and a half. There's going to be a town hall in every single ward to discuss the capital improvement plan and how we move forward in this objective approach. I'll also note that this week we are going to be getting a full report on whether or not the school reform efforts since 2007 have actually been a success and if they're moving in the right direction. The DC Auditor partnered with outside contractors to understand better what's happening with the system, whether or not we're heading in the right direction. This is extremely important for all of us to focus on this report. We will be having a public roundtable on Wednesday of this week to talk about it, and then as we go out throughout the city in these town hall meetings, I hope that you'll come out, talk to me about what your thoughts are, not just on the capital improvement plan, but also on the performance of school reform in the District of Columbia overall. So thank you again for your support. For more information on these town halls, you can go to my website at davidgrosso.org, follow me on Twitter at cmdgrosso, and follow my staff at Team Grosso on Twitter as well. I look forward to seeing you out there. I look forward to seeing you engaged in everything I do in this building, because with your involvement and your help, I'm sure that I can do what's right and what's best for the District of Columbia. Thank you, and have a great day.